Hello everybody. Welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. I got you one today I know you're gonna love. Have we got any green bean lovers out there? I know I'm a number one green bean lover, whether it be straight from the garden or from a can. And you say, Marshall from a can? Absolutely. That's why I'm here today. I'm gonna show you a recipe I can promise you a lot of you will use from now on, especially if you're in a hurry a pair of green beans that taste just like it came straight out of grandma's kitchen. I'm telling you. Watch how easy this is and it's so simple. Right here is all we need. First we're going to need some green beans. And you can use one, two, three, four. It don't matter how many green beans you have as long as your pot's big enough. I'm going to use just one can today for demonstration purposes but it will work with two cans. Ever how many you got that'll fit in the pot you got. This recipe will work with. Watch this. All we're simply going to do is get us a good Dutch oven here or a good pot. I'm going to open these things up and I'm pouring it all in there. Liquid and all, I'm pouring it in there. You know, this is three pounds of green beans. And I've got a good formula for you. For every three pounds, I add three sliced up pieces of bacon. I've got these chopped up so it'll get distributed in it. Three pieces of bacon per three pounds of canned green beans. And also, don't skip this step. Don't comment and say, Marshall, I'm not going to put that in there. Put it in there, please, and try. These green beans ain't but like $2.50 a can. Matter of fact, I got two for four of these right here. For every three pounds of the green beans in a can, you need to put at least a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Yes, sugar. Is it going to make them sweet? Absolutely not. It gets in there with that bacon, puts a good sheen shine on them and gets in there and adds a great flavor to it. Try this. Let me show you how to put it together right quick. So now I'm simply going to put my green beans in, liquid and all. I'm going to put my tablespoon. I'm going with a tablespoon and a half of sugar because I know it don't make it too sweet. It makes it just right. And I'm going in with my three pieces of bacon. And can you believe it? That's it. Now what we're going to do, and right here is the secret to it. See the water in there? See that liquid that came with the green beans? I'm going to go over here on my stove. I'm going to turn my heat on medium high. And I'm going to put these green beans on there and I'm going to cook them until that water, about 95% of that water cooks slap out of it. It's going to steam out of it. It's the best green beans, I'm telling you. It's so good, y'all have got to try this. Let's put it on the eye. Now, as you can see, I got my green beans on, I got my heat on a medium high, I've got it on an eight right now. It takes a while to steam this water off, everybody, so be very patient with this. And if you add two cans, it's gonna take that much more. I think with two cans, the last time I made this at home, it took around two hours for all that water to boil off. So you gotta be patient. So we got one can right here. I'll put a timer on it and see exactly how long it takes. But we're gonna get this up to a boil on a medium high. We're gonna steam all this water out of this, about 95% of it, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got it up to a boil, see that? And what you'll wanna do, you wanna stir these things about every 10 minutes or so right in there. Just keep them all stirred. We've been on probably about 15 minutes now. Okay, everybody, we've been in probably around 40 minutes now. When most of the, when the water starts evaporating, you want to keep this stuff stirred a little bit more often. We're right at 40 minutes. Looks like it's going to take around an hour to do this. The more liquid that steams off, you'll want to stir this stuff a little bit more often. And also you'll want to turn your heat down to just above medium. Cut your heat down off of medium high. Turn it just above medium when about half of the water is gone like it is in these. You can tell it's gone because you start seeing lots more green beans on the top. So cut your heat down when you get to this point to just over a medium. You don't want to get in no hurry. You'll burn them. Okay, let's do this. Look how good that looks. Get a little piece of the bacon with it. Lord have mercy. Mm, 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 mm. Folks, when you get your canned green beans and you read the instructions on the back of it, don't go by that. Do it exactly the way I just showed you. 
It tastes like it came straight out of grandma's pot. I'm telling you. Thank you all today for joining me on Country Boy Cooking, where Jesus is always Lord of all.